Hey gang, I wanted to spend a few minutes today to talk about drain lines and min drain slope for grading optimization in Civil 3D. So this is with Civil 3D 2022, 2023, those users with the AEC collection. You have this new, newish tool called grading optimization. And I find there to be a lot of, the, most of the problems arise from trying to get the drainage to work on your site. So we're going to talk about a few different things about how they work and really understanding the fundamental concepts of it for, for best practices. So today's agenda, two things we're going to go over. Drain lines, creating those and you know what those are, create those civil 3D, and how that ties into the min drain slope that you are setting in your zones. Okay, so two slides here we're going to go over. So these are how the drain lines interact with the existing grade or the existing grade to finish grade surface you're creating. So you can see here on the left, we have a generic surface. So surface, however many points, you get triangles created. So the triangulation created between all those points in your surface. So then in Civil 3D, you draw a polyline, and that's your drain line. So vertex 1, the start of your polyline, to vertex 2, and so forth, that's the direction it's going to drain towards. So you can see the top of the, the polyline, vertex 1, where the arrow is, that blue arrow, that would be vertex 2. You are going to drain uh, north to south, so to speak. And then you can see this is the green line here. So this is how the surface is going to angle towards the drain line. So every single triangle is going to meet the min drain slope and it's going to be angled towards that drain line. And then you'll see here that we have the arrow residing within that triangle and then that is angled towards the drain line. And so that really forms a crease. So you have that blue drain line you've drawn and then the surface is going to like fold on it so to speak. So then it can, so then let's just talk about if there's, you know, what about the triangles around the drain lines, like north, south of it? And what about how do other drain lines interact? So photo on the left here, drain triangle above the drain line. So say you have vertex one, you've created the surface triangles behind that or more north of it will angle towards it. Same thing with this thing in the middle. So it's the shortest distance towards the drain line. So if you have two drain lines like this, it's not going to, you know, it's going to be the shortest distance. So it's going to say, what's the shortest distance to the drain line? So if it's, you know, it's not going to go two feet to one drain line when there's one six inches away. So it's going to look something like this and it's split by the triangle size. So it's not a straight line through all the triangle, straight line. It's uh, based on the triangles that are closest. So you can see that this one, it's going to favor that train line triangle. So the a drain line to the right versus this one's going to favor the drain line to the left. Okay, so now let's get into civil, well, let's get into grading optimization and see how this all interacts. So grading optimization, I have a model here that fairly, nothing too crazy, just a few objects in this model, but what we're really just going to focus on is two drain lines on a parking lot and a retaining wall just to balance out some of the elevation changes. So you can see here that if I, let me restart this. So this is our design right here. And then one of the big things is, let's take a look at this parking. So we have a couple zones here. So these are the zones that a drain line resides in for this design. So you can see this is the one we're focused on. So this C grade, C dash grade dash park. So this is my parking lot. And you can see my mid drain slope is 1%, my max slope is 5%. So the minimum drain slope towards the drain lines is 1%. Anything less than 1% is going to result in a blue um, error message. So let's focus on, so anything, so 1% is our minimum that we have set. And keep in mind, zones hierarchy, so parking entrance has a 2% drain slope, so anything less than 2 is going to be an error. And then anything less than 1 is going to be an error. And then for our sidewalks, same thing, anything less than one, that min drain slope is going to result in an error. So we hit this optimize button here. And you can see that I already have them on, but say you want to, you know, if you want to see the triangles and how the hydrology is interacting, you click on these on the visualization toolbar, you click on the directional vectors right here. And then if you want to see the triangles that go along with it, you click on this right here. So we can see that we have two drain lines right here, 
and we have one that's right here and you can see the arrows are going towards it and then it's going the arrows are going downwards because that's the direction of this drain line now the same thing happened here so we'll just stop it and the same thing happening here we have arrows going this way and then as soon as they get to once the once that triangle abuts the drain line it goes in the direction that is going towards so you see we have our min slope violations colored in blue so right here those are all our min slope violations and if you hover over them you can see what the what the errors are so for example the max slope is five percent for that parking lot the min slope is one percent that min drain slope and we're at 0.98 so we are just below the threshold so that's why we're getting the error message so if we're at like 1.01%, we wouldn't have this error message. So for example, here we might be at like 1.01, we're at 2.09. So, and then it needs to drain towards the end of the drain line, so vertex 2. And then same thing here. So you can see that this, we are at 0.95. So with a new feature with, a new feature with 2023 is the relaxed directions right here. And one thing that drain lines, you know, the two requirements for drain lines is, or drainage or the min drain slope is they need to have a direction and a percentage. So what direction are we going in and what percentage slope is do we need to meet? So 1% slope. And so for example, if you hover over this one, we have a 0.74% slope and we have a direction towards the drain line mid. So if those two criteria can't be met, then there's an error. So you might have a location where your drain line can be met, the slope, but the, the, the absolute direction of it can't be. So that triangle can't face that perpendicular or wherever it is, that triangle can't face the drain line at that slope. So if we say relax directions right here, you'll notice a lot of them, uh, you know, some of those uh, blue, blue triangles resolve. And that's because the direction doesn't need to be that uh, to, the direction doesn't need to be perfect to meet that percentage. So we turn it back on here. Let's take a note of, uh, let's say this one right here. So drain slope 0.99. Okay, so we're violating there. Let's turn it off. And then we can see that we're at 0.99, drain line mid. Let's go ahead and hit play here again. And then we might, we might see this one resolve eventually because now the mid drain slope can meet it based on the direction it has a little bit more play with. So a couple things to play with, a couple of the biggest takeaways to understand about drain lines is the poly lines, the vertex one to vertex two and so forth is the direction it's gonna drain. So that would be your highest point or to your lowest point. Uh, second thing is really uh, pay attention to how they interact and think about those triangles on the surface. So multiple drain lines, it's gonna go to the shortest distance towards each drain line. And then last thing, turn on that hydrology, turn on those surface triangles to see how things are interacting with each other. And then you can get a better idea of how they're all, all the drain lines are, you know, how it's moving that surface around. And then the last thing, min slope violation, relaxed directions. So that's going to take out one of the factors where you don't need to have the direction be directly towards a drain line where it just tries to meet the percentage. So hopefully you find this helpful and I thank you for your time.